today if my camera is a little shaky I am recording from the dashboard of my vehicle um, today I woke up in a very very shitty mood I had a wicked wicked dream and I don't know if you guys believe in this but I feel like when people dream like your spirit just goes out and wanders and it gets tired and then it returns to your body and then you may go tired so I woke up very tired today I woke up very irritated but it could also be because I'm hungry because normally like I take a shower and I feel like amazing I feel better but that was not the case this morning I took a shower and I was just irritated with everything <laughs> I was irritated about everything and then I got in the car and I'm like okay I'm gonna put some music I'll be fine and the music is not helping so food is the next thing if food don't make me feel better that just means today is not the day and I need to go back home and go to sleep and wake up on the other side of the bed because it's not working out plus I have a lot of things to do today and I have a new apprentice coming in today so I have to be at the shop if not I wouldn't even show up to the shop but I have to be there because of the new apprentice that's coming in today but right now I am before work I have to go to what's it called it's called uh, Turner's Turner Turner what's it called Turner's it's not Turner's sporting goods it's Turner's outdoor or something like that but y'all get the memo um they sell like fishing supplies they sell um what do they have fishing supplies saves guns and all that kind of stuff so I ordered something and I should have picked it up on the 27th of last so like I said I should have picked it up last month but I didn't end up picking it up because I totally forgot that I had ordered something and the guy clearly said you have until the 27 to pick up and then after that I don't know what kind of extensions he gave me and then he said after that um, everything will be put back you can get a refund on the purchase and what you paid on it but you can't get a refund on like your background check and all that so I don't know what day that was because I can't find the receipt it's just one of those days I couldn't find the receipt I can't remember what day he told me so I'm gonna just show up like is it still here so that's what I'm doing and it's actually called uh, Turner's outdoor what does it say outdoor outdoor something and then it says hunting and fishing so that's kind of what I'm doing right now I have to do this and then go get me some food I'm definitely not gonna record while I'm in there but or show you my purchase but that's stop number one of having a shitty day. Not every day is beautiful and y'all gonna see one of mine. <laughs> All right, I have secured the bag from Turner's Sporting Goods. I'm gonna call it Sporting Goods, but that's not their name. Um, but unfortunately, I have to go back home to drop this off because I cannot be riding around with this in my buggy. Um, but I... <laughs> I ended up putting a deposit on another piece, so I'm super excited about that. Look, ladies. I'm just saying, you got to find a way to protect yourself. So, go to legal route and get yourself something to protect yourself. That mace and the little switch blades, that's cool. Your whistles, that's cool too. Hey, if that's what you into, go ahead, but... Sometimes you need a little bit more power to protect yourself and there ain't nothing wrong with that As long as it's all legal and legit ain't nothing wrong with that um, Okay off to my house, but I'm gonna try to get me some Breakfast before I end up doing that um, I'm not gonna lie my day got a little bit better um, Sometimes you just suck up people's energies and everybody in there was so nice they were so caring and so sweet that they just they made me smile a lot so I feel a lot better than what I did before I got here but I 
still feel a little shitty and I still feel like I need to eat. All right. This is just going to be a vlog of like what I have to do. It's already like 11, so I'm already running late to work and I was supposed to be there exactly at 11:30. Um but now I have to go back home, get some food and then go to work. So I'll see you guys on the next step. Alrighty guys, I just left the zoning department for Lodi and I don't think the location that I looked at is going to work out because they require a lot of, sorry, that's my car. They require a lot of things and it's very expensive and it's very time consuming and I personally just don't have the time to put so much energy into getting a piercing license, not a piercing license, but a business license for this specific location. And it's just because of this location, because um, the, that specific address that I showed you guys on the previous video, basically it says this project is for an alteration to an existing building, only a separate and completed tenant improvement plan submitted and permits required prior to occupancy of each tenant space and issues of a certificate of occupancy. Basically, it says alternation, alternating to an existing building no occupancy so basically the building had a no tenant so like no business could be in that property so i would have to submit um a building permit and i would have to get a licensed contractor which they are very expensive they normally charge up to a hundred dollars an hour and i did ask her is this something that the landlord could do and she said yes they could release the permit on my behalf so basically their floor plan they could release it under my name but they would have to come here and release sign some forms to release that my battery ended up dying but i got back up I got backup. I'm trying to take my YouTube serious. <laughs> Anyways, they would have to come in here and release those permits, those uh, building permits, so I could basically save myself some money and the hassle, but that would bring more hassle to them. But then not only that, like let's say they don't want to, then I would have to pay a licensed contractor, which is more money than obviously I don't want to pay. And unfortunately, since they were already giving me a little bit of a hiccup when it comes to the sink, I don't think this is something that they're going to want to do. Um, other than that, the fees for Lodi are crazy, especially only for this address. If it's for another address, she did mention that it would be a lot cheaper. So this address on its own, it's going to be a lot more expensive for me. So I'm the type that if you have to invest so much... I'm not really into it, especially because I know the revenue of the piercing business and all that. Um, so for me, investing a lot is not the ideal way to go. But if she says that if I go with this address, the one that I showed you guys on my previous video, um, planning checks are anywhere from 100 to 350. Public work is anywhere from 169 to $621. Plan examiner, she doesn't even know because they charge per rate of how long it's going to take them. So she couldn't even give me a price. That range, that could range from 1000 to 2000 Who knows? She couldn't even give me a price on that. Or it could be something like $20. So who knows on that? And then safety inspection, $206. So just to get into the business not counting the rent the deposit uh moving cost um all of that just for me to get this i'm looking already like i want to say two thousand dollars um and that's just me being like generous about it and to me that's just way too much to start a business because i'm looking at because i did say i did tell the landlord that i was going to pay six months in advance so that already is like ten thousand dollars uh plus let's say the licensed contractor charges me let's say a thousand dollars so that's already puts me at 11 plus everything else that puts me at 13 plus the moving cost 13 14 let's say fourteen thousand. um plus if i have to buy inventory and all that kind of stuff which i already have all the inventory but for a new shop you have to have separate inventory so it's a whole thing going on so as of right now i don't think that this is the right spot for me to go to i love the place the place was really nice but i feel like it would be too much and on top of that it would be a lot of time being wasted because just for them to review everything will take 15 days 
That is the problem because normally when you go get a business license, you go in, you come out, and the business license is done. So you're not spending a lot of money on wasted money like on the rent. When it comes to piercings, it is a little bit of waste because you have to wait until the health department approves everything so you're kind of not working and paying rent for nothing that's exactly what's going to happen here and this is a thing that after 15 days if they review it they still can't approve it so it's gonna be i'm gonna be taking a gamble which we never gamble remember we do not gamble with business because if i sign the lease which we're not but if i were to sign the lease right and then start submitting all these plans and they don't approve it i'm now stuck on a non-approved uh, property that's number one two let's say we tell the landlord hey it's gonna take 15 days to approve everything but let's say another tenant comes in and they want to get that space and now you're in the process and then it gets approved now you spent all this money because now they don't have that property so it's something that you have to talk to the landlord and be like okay how are we gonna work this out that could be an easy solution. You know what I'm saying? I could leave a deposit and then I could be like, okay, if it gets approved, we move forward. If it doesn't get approved, then, you know, I get my deposit back. That's kind of what a deposit is. But keep in mind, I'm pretty sure they want to rent it now. I'm pretty sure they have someone already looking to rent it xyz so time wise and everything else, this is not the right place for me to be at. Um, could I, if I really, really wanted to, could I? Absolutely. But since I'm still scoping out locations, this is the very first place that I look into. I will definitely not give myself a headache and try to do all of this when I can find other options. That would be a lot easier. For example, when I opened the second shop in Stockton, literally within a day i had all of the zoning the licenses everything i was ready to rock and roll and then the health department happened so that store was ready to go really really fast so as of right now the the location i showed you guys it is a no as of right now but um who knows i'm gonna go talk to the landlord just so we could touch bases um but for me is a no but we'll see maybe he sweet it sweetens up the deal if he were to maybe like lower the rent by like a lot which i don't think they will um then maybe i could consider it but as of right now it is a no um and that's that's part of life that's part of life and this is a part for you business owners who want to, if you're working from home and you want to go from home to a shop or if you're wanting to go straight to a shop, um, this is part of finding a business location. You're going to find so many locations that you love and you want to be at and they're not going to work out. Not every location is going to be good to go and ready to rock and roll. Um, it's just it's just the thing. So I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, these videos are mainly to show you guys what I go through when I'm trying to find a business uh, lot location for any type of business. Um, and yeah, all right, I'll see you guys right now. I'm in a really pretty place in Lodi. Um, so I'm going to go find me a little Starbucks, look at Lodi. Maybe I could see some buildings that have for rent signs and everything. Reminder that a lot of these issues that i'm going through right now it's because of this specific building um if i do end up finding something else in lodi that doesn't have this non-occupancy thing 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 on there <laughs> um she did say that i would have to just submit a floor plan and then pay for a safety inspection and then that's it pay for the license and that's it so that's a lot more easier and that's kind of what i'm used to um so i'm gonna just kind of drive around lodi and see what i could find if i could find any locations that have a for rent sign or a for lease signed but uh if you guys can't find nothing on facebook craigslist loopnet zillow always drive around the, the area you want and you will always see for lease for rent all right uh i'll see you guys on my next clip because i still got a lot to vlog so i'll see you guys in a sec